The Organization of the Eastern Caribbean States, NUSAID, Early Learners Program was launched in St. Kitts and Nevis on October 20th with the view of creating strong readers in kindergarten to grade 3 cohort. On this edition of Straightforward, team member of the OECS Project Management, Rafa Gordon, gives a brief project overview. The goal of the program is basic. We want to raise reading levels across the member states, and we want to ensure that um, from grades K to 3, every child, as has already been mentioned, is reading at or above grade level. So who are the beneficiaries? Who are these independent member states that we're referring to? Well, here they are. Antigua, Antigua and Barbuda, the Commonwealth of Dominica, Grenada, St. Kitts and Nevis, St. Lucia, and St. Vincent and the Grenadines. We're trying to create awesome readers, and the program is going to touch seven components that will aim to do that, the first of which is the language policy. We hope that through the program, we'll be addressing the language policy situation, determining, first of all, whether you already have a language policy, and if you do, how we can move that policy forward, and if you don't, where, wh how it is that we can support you in establishing a language policy that would guide implementation of the teaching of reading. Teacher training is always a critical component of any program that seeks to improve student performance, and of course the teacher training program will be touched. Along with teacher training, we have teacher professional development. There is a slight difference between the two, and the teacher training will be focusing on the institution that is used to prepare your teachers. So it would be more a focus on in-service, or pre-service rather, whereas the teacher professional development would be how we build teacher competencies for teachers who are already in the education system, already in classrooms practicing. We have the reading curriculum as well, and under the reading curriculum, we're not talking about the document, we're talking about the process of teaching reading. So we'll be looking at things like the timetable, uh, the amount of time spent on teaching, how planning is done, and how these processes can be improved. Uh, component number five, teaching and learning resources. We can't teach without quality and quantity of resources. So the program will, will investigate the resources already in use and determine how these can be augmented. Uh, penultimate one, reading assessment. All effective teaching is very closely knit with assessment. So the program will look at your assessment program and determine how it can be improved to address the needs of students as we teach reading. And finally, we have the school reading improvement planning pro, um, component. Under this component, uh, the, the target will be principals. Teachers will also be involved, particularly senior uh, teachers or teachers who play a critical role in managing the school, but the target will be the principals. And the hope is that under this program, we'll be able to look at plans that principals already have for school improvement and help them improve through modeling, etc., how it is that they can build plans that focus on school-wide literacy and ensuring that the structures are in place to help children improve in their reading. One of the key components or one of the key activities under this component is um, teacher uh, teacher-led activities where we'd be encouraging teachers to engage in research at the school or classroom level. So a teacher may identify a particular problem, may say, well, part of the 99 um, that we have, some of the children in that group of 99 are having issues with, re with reading for X reasons. And so the teacher may have an excellent idea, either from practice or from um, having studied some approach that the teacher wants to experiment with or implement. The program will provide resources for teachers to undertake that kind of research to determine how measures can be put in place to remediate children who are struggling, and as we also mentioned, to propel those who are already at or above their reading level. So these are the components, and we'll look a little more closely at them just very quickly. Under the language policy, the objective is to establish an appropriate policy for introducing reading to children for whom English is a second language. I'm sure you would all agree that the linguistic situation in the Caribbean is a very complex one. Mm -hmm. And for this reason, um, our approach to the teaching of reading cannot be what we find in the textbooks. Mm -hmm. 
it has to be more specific and more targeted to the, to the unique circumstances that we face within the complex linguistic environment that faces the Caribbean. And some countries may have an environment that's even more complex because of second and third languages that exist in the, in, in the territory. So the language policy will look at that. Um, we're hoping that one of the outputs would be an, an approved language policy and that in the end, second language teaching would take place and ultimately, children would receive the language of instruction that's appropriate to their needs. Objective under teacher training program to improve the training program for the teaching of reading. As we mentioned, we'll be focusing on the institution that deals with the teaching of reading. So uh, it would involve a review of the actual courses that teachers are doing. And that work will happen in tandem with the University of the West Indies. Um, the, and in the end, a redesigning of the program, if necessary or where necessary. We also aim to find out if you already have a master teacher program, and if not, to help you institutionalize one, if you already have one, to build on it, so that through this master teacher program, uh, teacher professional development can continue. And we believe that this is one of the critical ways to build sustainability into the program, because when these master teachers remain, they would be able to assist other teachers beyond the early learners program. There are resources under the program to train reading specialists. If you already have, um, that number can be um, increased. And later on, you'll see exactly how that would fit into all of the plans. Under teacher professional development, the objective to improve teacher competencies in teaching and assessing reading in early grade learners. Particularly, having listened to the, the presentation from Mrs. Basu, I'm really interested in what exactly you've been doing that makes your statistics so good. Um, particularly comparatively speaking, why it is that you have 86% when we have so many other countries with 60 and 70? And when we talk about best practices, you may very well have uh, some things that are working really well that we can take and bring to other countries. One of the things I'm really looking forward to under this program is the networking that we hope to establish among teachers of reading, among um, curriculum educators across the region, so that what is working in one country can be passed on to others and models can be created that can be then adapted from country to country and meet the needs of teachers and students as well. Communities of practice are touted as um, a significant best practice. It is also key to professional development. And under the program, there will be specific steps to implement or improve uh, communities of practice. And you will notice that I'm, I'm putting both of them because we don't exactly know what obtains for you or any other country, so we need to find out first. And um, we're hoping that we can build on what's there. So we're not coming in with um, just something that we're coming to impose. We're coming to find out first what you have and to build on that. Reading curriculum to strengthen the management of reading instructional time in the early grade reading program. The focus is on time. Okay, the timetable, the amount of time, how the teaching is structured, how it is organized, how it is coordinated, how you move from one day to the next, all of that is what we're interested in. Also, the program will create reading packages. And that reading package will reflect uh, what is happening across the territories. And it would be disseminated to teachers across the islands. Teaching and learning resources to provide adequate and appropriate teaching and learning equipment and materials to support reading. After an audit is done to determine what resources are already in use and how these resources have been procured, whether it is that you've purchased them internationally, whether they were purchased locally, or whether they were teacher made, then a determination can be made by the program of how it is that we can move forward with the, with the aspect of resources and what's the best way to provide the maximum um, amount of resources that would help with the teaching of reading. And in the end, teachers and students will gain access to a repository of resources. Again, it would reflect the various uh, member states involved in the program. Reading assessment, the objective is to improve the framework for continuous assessment of students. It stuck out in my mind that Mrs. Basu had in a presentation the uh, 
testing of comprehension as opposed to the teaching of comprehension. And that is a serious problem across states, and it's a problem internationally as well. It is not unique to St. Kitts. And so it is very important for us to examine the assessment framework being used, whether it be formal or informal, and to determine what can be done under the program to help teachers better understand how to assess reading and not just to test reading, because there's a big difference, mm -hmm. and how to teach comprehension integrated with assessment as opposed to just assess or test comprehension. Mm -hmm. And finally, school reading improvement planning. The objective to build capacity for more appropriate school management practices aimed at improve read, improved reading. Uh, as I mentioned, we'll review the school improvement process. Where needed, support will be provided so that principals better understand how to uh, put a focus on reading. We have to appreciate that not all principals have the necessary background to be able to do that. Not all principals deeply understand some of the issues that lead to problems with reading because um, although they may be very good managers and planners, they need that kind of support. So the program will move in that direction. We also recognize the value of things like family literacy, that with all of the effort and support that you make in the classroom, there's need for continued support in the home as well, as well as the community. So school home community partnerships, we're very much interested in that and we hope to strengthen that connection between the three through the program. As a federation, the number of students per grade that were assessed, the percentage per grade that is at or above the required level, the percentage per grade that is below the required level, those that are in between levels, and those that are not reading at all. We can see that our grade one students and our grade six students are the lowest, have the lowest number of students performing at or above the required level. Our grade two students, however, has a 91.3% reading at or above the required level. However, we still have an 8.7% there who has, um, are below, which of course we need to work well with and get to that level. It is our aim to get every single student reading at or above their required level. We must and can successfully teach all children. I fundamentally do believe that, that we can successfully teach all children. With the right support, any child can learn and thrive, regardless of poverty, challenges at home, neighborhood violence, disability, or any other obstacle. A high quality early learning program is a good thing. A high quality early learning program run by caring teachers is a great thing. A school community determined to nurture and educate every one of its children can transform a child's life. There are positive changes taking place in education some of these changes have the potential to transform public education for the benefit of every child.